the graphical presentation of four-dimensional space-time world line and the law of existence of objects inferred from the world line. Minkowski defined the four-dimensional space-time model XYZT used to represent world point and world in his paper Space and Time. The space-time light cone is an intuitive diagram compacted Z space component and replace it by time axis. Thus, the space-time light cone was based on XYZ. Although it made the visual expression to be possible, but also the space-time light cone exposed drawbacks. Drawbacks of a three-dimensional space-time light cone. Why need a new method to draw four-dimensional graph? First, the space-time light cone has limited expressive ability. One light cone can only express one event. Second, the relationship between two events cannot be expressed by the light cone. If we need to study two events or world lines that affect each other, the light cone has no way to express them. Third, can it express different world lines correctly? For example, below there are n curves that are different in XYZ 3D space. The curves are x equals x, y equals y, and z equals ki, x plus y. Ki equals 1, 2, 3, 2, n. And the example is x equals x, y equals y, and z equals x plus y. And z equals 2, x plus y. And z equals 3, x plus y. All these curves are different in x, y, z space. When the z axis is replaced by time axis t, the space time is x, y, t. Above curves become the same shapes as the following x equals x, y equals y, and t, i equals t. So x, y, t, all of them will be the same. All these curves are the same in x, y, t. Now we saw that the lines in compacted x, y, t space time cannot correctly describe the original world lines in XYZ space. The fourth, most images of space-time light cones are wrong and useless. The future light cone has not happened yet and does not exist. All of the future light cones are the same. The event may stop at the present moment in such case, the future light cone will never appear. The past light cone, as Minkowski said, is the front cone of O consists of all the world points which send the light to O. The light emitted by any world point will only diverge with the elapse of time and will not converge to point O. Fifth, the image of a space-time light cone is not intuitive and is obscure in application. The light cone is difficult to understand. Even experts make various mistakes in applications. On this point, we use Stephen Hawking's description of the light cone in his books to illustrate this problem. Stephen Hawking misunderstood the space-time light cone. First, in his book, A Brief of History of Time, he explained the light cone as following. The light spreading out from an event forms a three-dimensional cone in the four-dimensional space-time. This cone is called the future light cone of the event. In the same way, we can draw another cone called the past light cone. In the same way means with the time goes back to the past. This brought in the time travel in name of science and getting popular with this book. The red lines above are tough to understand, but we know 
The time never can go back. Second, in his book, The Universe in a Nutshell, he explained again that the past light comes 13 years later, but still full with errors. Foreign right side is finger 2.5 from the book. I added the circled red column numbers. Every circled text label has a problem to be discussed, refer to my book. For example, the finger shows that he believes that the galaxy indicated by two is closer to the observers present than the galaxies indicated by three. But this is wrong. Three galaxies as they appeared five billion years ago can only be located very close to the observer, such as the sun. Two galaxies as they appeared recently can also be located very far away. For example, a galaxy's age is 5 billion and 20 years old and occurs at 5 billion light years away from the observer. Its light only appeared 20 years ago to the observers. There is also the famous 30-year-old young black hole located 5 billion light years away from the observer. Of course, this is completely wrong. All above can explain that the light cone is not a good concept. It cannot help people to know the space-time concept intuitively. How can we add one more dimension of time t to xyz space? Star A is a world-line trajectory of in the three-dimensional space xyz space without time. The empty dots on the line are focus points of the event of star A. The solid dot is the present now moment. The dotted line beyond now is the estimated future path star A possibly would go. How can we add one more dimension of time t to xyz space? Here. The time plane is added below the xyz space. The time axis t is added corresponding to the trajectory of star A. Put them together, we got the four-dimensional space xyz t. The focus points on time axis are paired with those on each world line. In such a way, we kept that space and time have independent significance but it revealed their relationship. Let's see the power of this new method. An application example, three world line trajectories in XYZ T space time. There are three world lines for star A, comet B, and star C. Each of their time axis is projected on the time plane. Pay attention to Focus points 4 and 6 of comet B means the comet B came to the same location in different times. Even the same of comet B and even C of star A overlapped at the same time. Now, of all world lines are at the same moment, this gave us a hint of the law of existence of objects. The law of existence of objects. The definition of the law of existence of objects from its birth through its past to the present and into the future, an object only exists at the present moment. The law intuitive proof above is a sequence chart from birth to death of a man. Suppose this person has lived 100 years. Here we drew seven pictures to indicate the person's whole life. If a picture is drawn, each year 100 pictures are needed. An infinitely small intervals, there will be unlimited images. Or at every given moment, 
the man exists only at the current moment. At other moments, before or after, the person does not exist. Intuitive proof. For the man on the left picture, let's suppose this person had an accident and is losing an arm at present 60 years old. So his status at 59 was normal, and his prospective status at 61 is that he has a prosthetic. This shows that a man's life consists of innumerable moments, but in every moment, he only exists at that now instance. We know there are the past Buddha, the present Buddha, and the future Buddha. I just feel great that the ancient Buddha has saw the world more thoroughly than many of us. Summary The old space time light cone cannot achieve the purpose of describing the four dimensional space time world line clearly and intuitively. Therefore, according to Minkowski's description, we designed a four-dimensional space-time graphical method that can accurately and intuitively represent multiple different world lines in one four-dimensional space-time finger. In the process of observing the changes of multiple world lines in our four-dimensional space-time image, we discovered the law of existence of objects. In this law, everything can only exist at the now moment. This not only overthrows our inherent concept of material existence, but also makes non-scientific concepts, such as time travel, lose their foundation of existence. Major references are following, and we this one, Fading Modern Cosmology, described all this presentation. Thank you. Thanks for your precious time. And goodbye.